This electric fan and this transistor radio are multifunctional devices. Meron din ito siyang ilaw. And this can be charged using mini solar panels. Are these mini solar panels good? Please support this channel and if you can, a super thanks from you could help finance devices for review and other projects of this channel. In this video, I would be concentrating on the charging by solar panels on each of these devices considering that both are using lead acid battery. My experience with lead acid battery lamps is bad. For example, the lead acid battery of these Omni emergency lamps have shorter life. I have replaced the battery of one of these, uh, I think this one, bago na ang uh, battery nito, but this one old pa, pero weak na rin yung kanyang uh, battery. This other Omni lamp also has defective lead acid battery, so bumibili na ako ng uh, bagong battery nito, nag-order na ako sa Solid Swill to Sale. <laughs> At ito yung lead acid battery. Mabigat. The price is about uh, 500 pesos. Pero may nakita ako 200 plus lang. Okay? So nakasave ko doon. Pero yung iba, uh, ginawa nila is uh, they recycled this one or they repaired this one. Uh, may, itry ko kung kaya kong mag-repair nito. May nakita akong mga tutorials about how to uh, restore lead acid battery. This Firefly multifunction emergency lamp can be charged using this 3 watt 6 volt solar panel while this Akari LED oscillating fan can be charged using this 3 watt 12 volt solar panel. Kung ikumpara mo tong dalawang panel ay halos kasing laki, both measures approximately 5.5 inches by 9 inches, medyo ang uh, Firefly ay medyo malaki na konti yung frame niya. Although, both are 3 watts only, but the voltage out output are different. Siguro sa voltage regulator dito, nasa likod yung regulator nito, at saka ito. Nandito yung, sa, sa loob ng enclosure yung voltage regulator nito. Then, um, mini solar panels can only generate between 0 0.06 and 4 watts. So based on the available specs, mababasa natin, uh, especially nasa wire prime may mga specs dito. The current at maximum power is uh, 0.48 amperes for the Firefly and 0.25 amperes for the Akari. Kung nagtataka kayo kung bakit maliit ang um, ampere ng uh, Akari, it's because 12 volts siya. Mataas yung bultahin niya. While the uh, Firefly, Mababa yung voltage niya, 6 volts, kaya mataas yung current niya. So, current and voltage are uh, inversely proportional. Okay? Now, walang ibang uh, specs na nilagay ang Akari based on their uh, on the back and on their manual or case nito. Wala ko nabasa. Kaya, hindi mo makikita sa Akari yung short circuit current niya. Ang uh, Firefly na kalagay dito is... Uh, 0.54 amperes yung uh, short circuit current niya at saka yung open circuit voltage niya ay nasa 0.73 volts. Makikita mo rin na magkaiba ang sizes and shapes sa uh, mga cells ng panels. Kung dito sa Firefly, makikita mo square siya while dito sa Akari is rectangular. Then, uh, marami ang uh, cells ng uh, Akari while uh, Firefly, medyo konti lang. Malaki yung square niya, pero kung bibilangin mo, Akari has more cells actually. Uh, there are 48 cells uh, than Firefly 24, pero actually both have uh, half cat cells. So ang Akari has actually 24 lang. Kung bibilangin mo to, 12 to dito, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, but actually, 12 lang yan. But this is half cut. Kung makikita nyo, naka, nakahiwal, may, may division dito. So, this is a half cut cell. Tulad din itong uh, Firefly, half cut din siya. Kaya, dito, 6 lang siya. So, actually, 12. So, there are uh, 24 half cut cells for Firefly. And again, sa Akari, there are 48. 
And uh, hub cut cells is purposely used to improve performance of the module. Yung mga malalaking panels are using larger size cells because it increases the cell surface area which does boost overall efficiency. Ang mga regular uh, solar, solar panel sizes merong uh, 60 cells na, na panel, merong 72, merong uh, 96 or 104. So ganun siya. No? Uh, uh, iba't ibang sizes, iba't ibang number of cells here. Now, these two, I, I think, uh, are using polycrystalline type of cells because makikita natin dito is blue ang color ng kanyang uh, cell. Then, at the same time, yung edges niya is square edges. Yeah. So, iba kasi, mayroong rounded ang, ang corner, ang yung edges, but this one is square ang edges niya. So, this is polycrystalline cells. Then, polycrystalline cells are known for its low heat tolerance. So, it's not suitable in hot environments. Pero dito naman sa atin, we are tropical country and anytime merong thunderstorm. <laughs> okay? So, bigla lang uulan. So, it's not really hot. So, this can withstand uh, sa heat. Then, both has a 3 meter uh, DC cord. Okay? Ito yung connection niya. 3 meters to siya. So, uh, if you are installing the, this uh, panel on your roof, like what I'm doing, video kapos. <laughs> okay? So, lagyan mo na extension. The Akari panel is IP54 certified, so it can withstand water sprays and rains at a low pressure. Pero kung bumagyo na, hindi na siguro nito kakayanin, it can also stop airborne particulates that can damage the panel. For the Firefly, walang nakastate na IP ratings kasama na sa package itong panel ng Firefly unlike the Akari that you have to buy it separately for about 600 pesos. Tulad ng mga regular panels na sa bubong ng bahay ko rin nilagay, so it is exposed to environment hazards. So far, umulan umaraw, nalampasan itong dalawang panels. For efficiency, meron mga studies that suggest mini solar panels work better than the regular panel that only has 15 to 20 percent efficiency. Mini solar panels, according to one study, can even reach up to 42 percent efficiency. Ano ibig sabihin ng efficiency? It means sa tindi ng init na tumama dun sa panel, 15 to 20 percent lang ang makonvert to electricity, while 42 percent naman sa mini solar panels. Even on a cloudy and rainy day, these mini solar panels can still charge devices. However, granting these are polycrystalline cells, the efficiency in general is only at 15 to 17 percent. But because these are small, maybe the efficiency is better. With regard to charging, kung AC gagamitin mo, this Firefly emergency lamp can be charged in 8 hours while the fan can be charged in 24 hours. Malaki yung disparity sa charging time. Siguro the fan is using trickle charging. Kung solar panel naman ang gagamitin for charging, the Firefly lamp has to be charged in 4 sunny days while Akari is not stating the charging time for its fan. It's hard to determine the charging time since it has no indicator when it is fully charged. In fact, it has an overcharging and over-discharging features. Ito ang radio, kung naka-charge via solar, ito siya. Then you turn on the radio. FM tender. So obviously, magpo-function ang radio kahit na naka-charge siya. Okay, so maganda ang system ng Firefly kasi you can maximize the solar panel so while charging, the unit can still be, be used. Tingnan natin kung pwede ang lights niya, i-turn natin ang lights. You see the lights there? May ilaw siya. Then, nag iyos OS pa. Um, at this moment, the fan is charging via solar pero kung i-on mo tong uh, electric fan let's say nakalagay dito DC okay then sa kabila is AC if you on this to AC hindi siya magpa-function pag nakasaksak tong uh, charger pag tanggalin mo to you see then kung ibalik mo tong uh, uh, charger niya via solar off siya automatically and also, kung iset mo to DC, 
Bara baya battery bali si lalim di rin siya mag on kung nagka nagcha-charge siya by solar. Kung tatanggalin ko tong uh, plug dito from the solar panel. Oh, hindi siya nagpa-function. Ah, okay. Kung nakasaksak dito yung uh, plug ng AC, hindi pwede na gagamitin mo uh, yung battery dito. So, kailangan tanggalin mo yung DC, uh, AC plug before you switch to DC. See? So, ito is powered by the battery now that was charged by the solar panel. So, tingnan natin kung hanggang saan siya tatagal. How long the charge battery last? For the Akari fan, according to manufacturer, it will last 3 hours kung nasa high ang fan setting and can be extended to 6 hours kung low yung fan setting. Kung ang night light lang ang gagamitin, it will last even up to 40 hours. So after more than 2 hours, naubos na yung na-charge na battery mula sa ating solar panel. So nag-stop na tong electric fan natin. I-try natin ulit. I-off natin, then on. Umandar siya ulit. <laughs> okay. Ganun talaga siya. Pag uh, malapit na maubos yung uh, charge niya sa battery, mag-off siya. Then, pag uh, i-on mo ulit uh, after a few minutes, uh, babalik siya na mag-on. Pero, hindi yan tatagal. Mag-off na rin siya. So, it, it, it's, in other words, it's time to recharge the uh, battery of this uh, fan. Sa Firefly lamp naman, kung radio lang ginagamit, Nito, it can even reach up to 66 hours if nasa low ang volume, 10 hours naman if maximum volume. Kung itong cob LED ang gagamitin, aabot hanggang 17 hours kung nasa low power ang setting ng LED, while only 9 hours kung high power ang setting. Since you can use the cob LED light as SOS or for emergency, it can reach up to 15 hours of blinking light. Pag itong dalawang LED bulbs ang gagamitin, aabot hanggang 8 hours kung isang bulb lang ang gagamitin and only 2 hours kung dalawang bulbs ang sabay iilaw. To save electricity bill as much as possible, I don't use AC line to charge these devices. The Akari fan can be plugged directly to the convenience outlet and at the same time, it's charging the battery while the Firefly lamp has a power charger. So I'm maximizing the solar panel for these devices. Imagine you can save 17 watts an hour for this Akari fan kung di ka ng AC while about 5 watts for the Firefly lamp charging. Also, both devices have a 5 volt DC output which you can use to charge your mobile devices. Obviously, these devices are still working until today and the mini solar panels are still up there absorbing the power of nature. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and click the notification bell and subscription button. You may also click the super thanks button down there to help finance any product or device that I'm going to review in this channel. Thank you so much, Jun Tariman, High Tech Tabay.